I don't know who needs to hear this today, but you are not alone. Perhaps we should define some terms. Uh, there is a difference between being by yourself and being alone. Being by yourself is a physical reality. Being alone is an emotional state. And so, for example, I can be by myself in my home, but not feel alone. And there are times that we could be in a crowded room with family and friends, and yet feel alone. The holidays are always festive and happy times, but that isn't always the case for everyone. They can be times when individuals might feel alone. There is an empty seat at the dinner table. There is an absence of packages under the Christmas tree because of someone who is not there. And in those times, we can, even in the middle of a festive and happy time, feel sad and feel alone. But I want you to know today that you are not alone. You have friends who care about you. You have family that love you. You have a church family that loves you. And if you are watching this video and do not have a church home, then I would say to you that you can. And I would encourage you to visit with us at the Corinth Church of Christ. You can sit with me on my pew. And you would be welcome. And we would love to have you. But even if all of those realities weren't true, I want to remind you that there is one who genuinely does know what it is like to be alone. It is our Lord and Savior. As He was on trial, we sometimes call it a mockery of a trial, and it certainly was that, but when He was on trial, He stood there alone. And it wasn't just that He was by Himself standing before Pilate. Or Caiaphas. But his closest friends actively deserted him. He was tried and he was convicted and he hung on a cross. Now, there were two others being crucified with him, and so on that Crucifixion Mountain, the place of the skull, Golgotha. He wasn't by himself, but he was very much alone. Because at one point he cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The creator of the universe God the Father had to leave His Son alone on the cross so that you and I would never be alone. Paul said God made Him who had no sin to be sin so that we might become the righteousness of God. Jesus hung on that cross not by himself, but alone, so that you and I would never have to be alone. And we have this promise from our Lord and Savior. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. There are times when we are by ourselves, and sometimes we like that. There are times when we feel alone. And even if our friends desert us, we will never be alone in the sense that our Lord was. 
because He will never leave us or forsake us. I hope everyone is having a great week. I want you to know that I have nothing but big love for you, and I look forward to seeing you Sunday for worship. Have a great day.